that's what's going to prevent it and prevent it for a long time. And if Sis is going to show you her roller set, we both did roller sets, but she's going to demonstrate her roller set. And guess what? She did what, Sis? I cut my hair. Yes. She the cutter cut. hat talked me into cutting my hair. It got to a point where the textures were so different that I had to cut it. It looked crazy. It looked very unusual. So I just, one night I just put my hair in a ponytail so I could, cause I could, so that I could have a ponytail and cut the rest of it off. All right. Well, that without further ado, she's going to demonstrate and show you how she did her roller set, how Man. she got those results. We've been loving this roller set guys, because it gives us more stretched hair. Um, it lasts. We don't have to get up and you know, with the wash and go, put water and touch up places. We don't use any rollers at night, none. It's beautiful. So we sleep just like this, no curling irons, and it lasts five, six days. So we are just thrilled that we found this. And like I said, it gives us the look of relaxed hair. Look at her hair. I'm mm -hmm. trying to show them your hair. Hers looks even better because she's used a different product, but we'll talk about that on another video. Uh, but I'm really happy with the look and the, the way it lasts. But if you want to see this look, just keep on watching. Okay, guys, these are the products that I use for my roller set. I used a handy dandy spray bottle. I used clips to separate my hair as I was going along. I used this size roller uh, that you can find at any beauty supply store. And I used my brush. That's my uh, tool of choice. And believe it or not, my product was mango and lime locking gel. That's right, mango and lime locking gel. And in the next clip, you'll see me doing my hair. I sped it up because I feel like most people know how to roller set. So I sped it up and did a voiceover. I'll see you there. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, here I am with freshly washed hair. I am brushing through the piece that I have taken a loose while I have the other two pieces braided and out the way. I'm just panning that other piece back that's in the front showing you the roller and showing you the rollers again that I used. And I'm going to show you the locking gel as well and my handy dandy spray bottle. So I'm just spraying some of the hair, making sure it's a little moist. You don't want to have it too wet. Brushing through because of course and combing through. Now I'm separating, uh, parting it for the first piece and I'm brushing it so that you can get, you can see that I'm trying to get it nice and smooth. You see the clumpage? Because the main thing with the roller set is you want to make sure that you get that hair slickly onto the roller. You don't want to have it uh, curling up or part of it not rolled on, on smoothly. So I'm rolling it up. There's my first piece. Got it nice and smooth. Uh, I am parting the next section. I'm gonna brush it through. As you see, I part it, then I brush it. I put this locking gel on there and roll it nice and tightly onto the roller. And I love this locking gel because it does get your hair nice and slippery and smooth. I mean, it's very slippery. Um, I shouldn't say I love it because I loved it. I loved using it. It felt really good on my hair. However, um, didn't quite love the end product as compared to my sisters but you'll see the two uh, shortly and i'm taking and again just taking what i feel is the right size for each roller so you know depending on the size of the roller or how tight or loose you want your hair to be curled is how you choose your roller size um, because we have so much elasticity in our hair really don't have any problem with um, it holding curl throughout the week you know, and maybe even more in more than a week, not maybe. So just showing you how um, just how I'm parting each piece, uh, putting the product on, I'll, I'll detangle that piece, make sure it's nice and smooth and comb through or brush through because I tend to like a brush right there. You saw me using my detangler. So I had uh, my detangler and my bristle brush. So I'm smoothing that piece out and smooth, smooth, smooth. Find the product, 
nice and slippery put it on the roller and bada bing bada bang it's on there so just keep on going and moving through the hair at the same way separating detangling each piece i spray that one that piece must have gotten my hair tends to be a little dry right up in that area so i just spray it with a little water not too much you don't want to make it too too moist or too wet because then that's long, the longer the drying time is going to be so you see me slipper putting it on the roller i pull it up make sure it's taut and roll it down put the clamp on the roller and that's pretty much it and i'm not going to uh, show you the entire head but i just wanted to show you the basic some people are not good at with rollers uh hard rollers so um, it's pretty simple the main things is that the hair sticks to the roller some people use um, end papers to hold the hair more smoothly um, i chose not to so it's up to you and there's all different types of rollers you can use the clamps you can use the one with it was like a pen that you know you can push through and it can hold the hair probably even tauter or tighter i tend to like these they're pretty simple and i can get my hair pretty um taut down to the root of the hair um you know, like i said because you want to pull it not to where it's uncomfortable but where it feels pretty smooth um, and it's comfortable for you to get under the dryer you don't want your hair to be pulled too tightly over tightly because it's not it's not good for your scalp and it's not good for your hair but you want it tight enough that the root is smooth so um I'm just about finished um, for this part and 